Hi guys, today we're going to talk about percents, specifically how to use ratios and proportions to fi um, find percents. And the I can statement we're working on is I can find the percent of a quantity as a rate per 100. Before we get started on our lesson, let's look at a little problem that the Cyber Chase kids are having. Cyberchase kids mentioned, the word percent literally means out of 100. Per meaning out of, and cent meaning 100. So let's look closer at how to find percents. 
if I have a 10 by 10 grid, 1% is would be 1 out of the 100 squares shaded in. If I wanted to shade in 10%, I would shade in 10 out of 100 squares because it is 10 per 100. 15% would be 15 squares shaded in out of 100. 30% would be 30 squares shaded in out of 100. 76% would be 76 out of 100 squares shaded in. 98% would be 98 out of 100 squares shaded in. 5 tenths percent or a half percent would mean I would only shade in half of one square because it is only one half out of 100 squares. 25 hundredths percent I can think of like a quarter when I'm dealing with money. And a quarter is one fourth of a dollar. And 25 hundredths is equal to one fourth. So 25 hundredths percent is one fourth of a square out of a hundred being shaded in. 75 hundredths I can also think of as three quarters out of a dollar. So three quarters percent or three fourths of one percent and percent is out of a hundred. So three fourths out of a hundred squares would be shaded in. If I wanted to shade in 110%, I would need two grids because I would need to shade in all of the first grid for 100 and 10 more of the second grid for 110%. And remember, percent always means out of 100. So if I were to write this like a fraction, I would have 110 out of 100 or an improper fraction and that is okay when we're dealing with percents as long as my denominator is 100. So let's look at a percent as a fraction. It's a fraction in which the denominator is 100. So over here on the left these are all examples of percents. However on the right those are not set up as percents. However, I can still turn these fractions into a percent by setting up a proportion. Remember, we said percent is out of 100. So if I wanted to know what 3 tenths was as a percent, I would have 3 over 10 equals something over 100. And to find that, I would need to multiply 3 times 10, or sorry, one, 10 times 10 equals 100. So 3 times 10 equals 30. So my percent here would be 30 percent. 18 twentieths can be turned into a percent when I figure out what I need to multiply 20 by to get to 100. I need to multiply 20 by 5 which means I also need to multiply 18 by 5 to get 90 out of 100 or 90 percent. See, once that denominator is 100, whatever the numerator is, that's my percent. In the last problem, 40 fiftieths, I need to ask myself, what do I need to multiply 50 by to get 100? And the answer is 2. Since I multiply 50 by 2 to get 100, I must also multiply 40 by 2, which gives me 80. And 80 over 100 is 80%. Now it's your turn. In the work section of your WSQ, answer, um, write the full problems, 1 through 6, and answer, answer it to find what percent each of these fractions represents. Pause the video now and complete numbers 1 through 6 in the work section of your WSQ. But when you're done, hit play, because we need to talk about one more thing. Okay, we all 
also need to be able to convert a percent into a simplified fraction. And this is something we've already talked about this year. So we're just going to do one example together. If I wanted to turn 60% into a fraction in simplest form, I first need to ask myself, well, what is 60% written as a fraction? And that would be 60 over 100. And 60 over 100 can be simplified by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 20, which gives me 60 divided by 20 is 3, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. 3 fifths is a fraction in simplest form. Pause the video and complete numbers 2 through 6 in the work section of your WSQ. We are done with this lesson now, so when you finish with number 6, you um, need to go ahead and complete the summary and question for your WSQ. You can go back and watch this video as many times as you need to.